This is Justin Higgins, and today we're going to make a sweet kazoo type thing out of some straws and a pair of scissors. Now in this build, we are going to use multiple straws, and the reason that I would have multiple straws available is because science is about failure, and if you make your cuts with your scissors wrong, you're going to have to start over. Now, in my area, I cannot find straws that are just straight anymore. I can only find straws that have a little bendy effect to them. That's okay. Just make sure that when you make your cut, you do it on the end that is away from the bendy part. I really like these ones that have the line on them because you just kind of flattened out a little bit. And the real trick, especially if you're doing this with smaller children, is that you want to have both cuts on either side be exactly the same. They need to be the same angle, and you can't do really minor cuts like this. You have to do a fairly shallow cut. Oop. And then it may help you to put your finger up next to where the cut's going to take place. And we'll cut it again. Now notice that I have my cuts that are about the same spot, and that's great. That's exactly what you want to make this work. And then just kind of push your straw back out. So the trick is to put your lips just on the outside of where you cut. Okay. And then blow while pressing down with your lips. And you can change the pitch of your kazoo by blowing on it and clicking it with some scissors. And the reason that this makes that sound is because these little flaps that you created when you cut the straw, they vibrate back and forth like this, going wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that's what makes the sound up here at the top. And then that travels down the length of the tube. And the length of the tube determines what the pitch is going to be. So. Don't forget to join me for more science fun every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'll see you guys later.